Hello and welcome to a short video on the Yesu FT710 AESS. This radio is a replacement for the Yesu FTDX1200, Yesu's first SDR radio. Have they done a good job? Well, we're going to have a look in a minute and find out. So, we'll quickly go through the front of the radio. On the top, I don't know if you can see that, you won't. You have mode, you have zin spot, split, clarifier, noise blanker. There you have MMV, V and M, A and B, band, quick memory bank. This side, it picks it up. RF gain and squelch, AF gain, down here in the shade, you've got fine and fast on this side. DSP reset, your monitor, switch and DSP, your function control, your DNR, your narrow, on this side you've got your power unlock, tune button, vox and mox, phone jack, of course microphone lead. So we'll switch it on and let's see what it looks like when it's switched on, we'll turn the volume down. So you this you're greeted with a nice display, as you can see here, you have a nice scope, another one here, and you have your SDR. So we'll quickly go through the scope and the other bits there now on the display. So you, if you want to change it from SWR, the meter here, you would press, quickly press it and it come up power, comp, ALC, VDD, ID and SWR, as you can see it doesn't stay on long. Attenuator, IPO, it's on amp 1, the digital notch filter is on, and the auto gain control is auto. If you want to highlight them, you just touch them and it comes up on or off. Fix, means it puts a line there, or cursor, you can move it along. 3D SS waterfall, well the band's a bit too noisy to do that at the moment. Multi, which means you can have a single scope, or you can have a multi. Expand, just makes it a lot bigger as before. You span of the scope, I've got it 100 kilohertz from 7100 to 7200. Now you can go speed, I've got it on fast one, but your options are slow one, slow two, fast one, fast two, fast three, or stop. So, overall impressions, a very good radio. And now we'll go inside the menu. So to access the menus, you will simply press that button. On the top line you have a level, peak, marker, colour, contrast, dimmer, memory group. Second line you would have mic, the mic gain, the mic equaliser, the processor level, the AMC level. Your Vox level, the Vox delay, anti-Vox. Third line, power, 12 watts to give me 10 watts at the antenna. The monitor le level, in case you're connecting a set of headphones. The key is off, the braking's off. The CW speed, which is set at 20 words per minute. The CW pitch at 700 hertz, which can be altered. And the braking delay. You can also get your messages, record, play TXW, AESS and AESSCF. The AA, AESS is the audio between the main speaker up here and this speaker here. You can put 60% through there, 40% through there or 70% through this one and 30% through that one. It is a very good system and you can alter the tone by changing the 700 hertz I think it's to a thousand. I've not dived into it. Radio settings, and well, if we press the radio settings, it comes up with mode SSB and it goes through all your treble tone gains. And if you've got an external mic connected and you know how to set up an equalizer, which I don't, you can go up and set your own microphone with your mids and your highs and your lows. And you can scroll through all these, and it's quite self explanatory. I'll put that back to the top. 
and it's the same with AM, FM, PSK and Ritter. If you're setting it all up, it's going to be in this paragraph here. Ritty, we'll come out of that. CW settings for people who do see CW. The AF treble gain. I'm not getting involved with this, but some people will know what they are. The Kia. It is an L key. Normal. I don't know. So if we highlighted the L key and we changed it now to bug. Now we know how well to get it back to default because they're all in yellow. So to get it back into the default, we will simply click it across so it's all in yellow. So you know all the defaults are in yellow. Operation settings now. General. You have a beat level. RS squelch. I've got an RF. External tuner. It does have an internal tuner. It's a HF and 6 set. The internal tuner is a 3 to 1. It's okay if you're using a resonant antennas. Or your antenna is less than three to one. Tuner type internal. Well, it's not. It's an external tuner. And we have the RX DSP. We can have the IF notch on wide, noise rejection wide. You can change all these. I haven't uh, altered any. I've just left it out of the box and played with it, and it's working very well. TX audio. They're all there, your AMC. If somebody knows how to set this up, please let me know, because it's been a nightmare. TX General, you can see HF power, 100 watts. 50 meters max power, 70 meters max power, 50 watts. AM power, 25 watts, and it goes on. Tuning, 10 hertz step, Ritty dial, channel step, AM step. So it's all laid out quite nicely for you there. We'll come out of that. Display settings. Well, the ACF T710 is there. You can change that and put your own call sign in. I've left it as it is. The scope. You can have the RD, RBW. I don't know what that is. I've not read the manual. The scope is carrier. Display and 3DS is high. VFO, colour you can have it in blue, green, white or red. External monitor. Now if you do buy one of these radios it has a DVI-D connector on the back. Please make sure you purchase a DVI to DVI cable. Please do not use a HDMI to DVI because pin 14 on the HDMI cable carries 40 volts. This is because it can be used to power a device from the other device. And you will eventually burn the board on the back at the socket. And the ASU will not repair that under warranty. So just to make sure it burns. And if there's any sign of scorching on the board, you will pay for it. So be warned before you connect to HDMI to DVI. We'll come out of that one and we'll go to extension settings quite simple now you've got your date and time it's quite straightforward SD card and software version that's all up to date you can change this from UK to EU by pressing a few buttons within the menu it is in the instruction manual so updating the radio SD card is on the side, you would take the SD card out, go to the ASIN website and download your latest firmware and you would open up the SD card on your computer, you would then drop the required files back onto the SD card, doesn't matter where you put them as long as they go on the SD card, load your SD card up and then when you put it back in and go to software version it will say update and a black panel will appear on the screen and it will say DSP version 12 firmware update version V12 and you put a tick in each box and click start and it goes to the end of every one 
and when it's finished it will say reset I think you hold down the power button your DSP select and your uh, your fast button and fine and switch the radio back on and then you have to reset all your values so please make sure you've got them down so that's that calibration not getting on to calibration I am not an engineer reset if you want to reset it you can reset the memory the menu clear or all reset we will now come out of that and we'll go back to the main screen we'll see if there's anybody on it is early in the morning but we will see very nice this morning let's see if somebody on 10 There is somebody on 10, it is noisy. We're going to use the DNR. Yeah, it has cleaned it up. Now, filters. If you want to use your filters, you would press this button here. Shift, notch, width, contour. If you want to put the contour, we can do that. We can touch it and switch it on and we can alter it by doing this turning the control and it goes quite the way down now if I wanted to put that back to default and I didn't know where it was if I press and hold the DSP button it puts it back to default notch is exactly the same you would switch it on And you can go all the way down and people go oh where was it what was the default without getting the manual out just press and hold the DSP reset button at the bottom here if it is shaded I do apologize but it is the light I've got every light on the in this room and they're quite easy you shift you can also just shift And you can put it back you can leave it and that will go off in a couple of seconds there you go so that's m0 nsi talking to somebody else overall impressions of the radio it's a very very good radio does it beat the icon 7300 yes it does hands down is it a contender for the Yesu sorry the Icon 7610 uh, yeah I'd give it a run for its money the problem you have is with radios a 991A is coming to the end of its life the Yesu FTDX10 is now coming to the end of its life this radio without the speaker is £985 if you want to buy one with the speaker at the moment for a thousand and ninety five you may get free delivery on that as well but i've heard a whisper that they're going to go to fourteen hundred pounds that is a bit of a jump so this would be your main radio starting point apart from an 891 so overall the impressions are it does work i've had many contacts around the world That's what Use the, the RFK, use your friend by the way, you can set some of the bike noise out. Bit of a bit of a difference if you use a bit of an RFK. You can set some of the background noise out. I'm not concerned about looking at the meter, people always say, oh looky meter. I know it's frozen. I'm more concerned about hearing the station. Put the DNR on. Scroll down again. Night and day. I can work that station no problem at all. Take that off. If you want to turn the RF power up, you would do that. 
on this control here you will set it and you can do that and it will go all the way to 100 watts if you want to do it split you can do it's quite easy to use you need to set the bottom one up using the A and B there's a button there the outer via focal lights you can change to the colour of your choice I think these red, blue, white, green whichever text your fancy I like them on the blue it matches the power on board you won't change that colour but radio in size roughly about 12 inches across about 3 inches deep by about 11 inches in depth weighing around 9 or 10 pound in weight you can work risky straight from the radio by using an A to B cable and same with PSK and MTA with WJTX all you need is the right cable you can put it straight into your PC and you can work all these mounts you do not need a sound car putting in the radio it's done for you so you're getting a lot of money in a lot of radio it is worth every single penny you can get a mobile barack it for it but unfortunately you can't mount this speaker on it it's one of them i use this speaker now and again i've got it connected to an external one and it works perfectly fine so thank you for watching a short video on the yesu ft710 if any members at the club wish to have a look at it more in depth i'm happy to bring it in on one saturday and uh, we'll connect it to an antenna and we'll have a play with it because if you're looking for a new radio and you buy the radio and it's not for you you've lost a lot of money when you come to sell it and you're very fortunate at the club that members have got some radios there so the chances are if you mention which radio you're thinking of buying a member might have it and let you have a little play with it for a bit at the club or he might invite you around to his home and if you decide after 30 minutes well this radio i really like isn't for me you've not lost any money and that's what it's all about so thank you for watching i'll answer any of your questions after this video enjoy your evening thank you seven three